Good morning. Good morning. I'm Rabbi Jonah Pesner, the director of the Religious Action Center of Reform Judaism, the largest and most diverse Jewish movement in North America. And it is from our historic building, just a few miles from this National Mall, that we organize and mobilize two million reformed Jewish souls led by 2,000 rabbis in nearly 900 congregations in North America. And we take great pride in the fact that for its entire six-decade existence, the Religious Action Center of Reform Judaism has been working to confront racial injustice and systemic racism on behalf of the American Jewish community. For decades, our headquarters was the home to the Leadership Conference for Civil and Human Rights, the largest umbrella civil rights organization in our nation. Our historic building is the site where parts of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965 were actually drafted. It is where scores of strategies of other civil rights laws were forged, and it is especially meaningful to us on this day that it was in our offices that Dr. King, whose memory we honor, would often use to work when he was here in Washington, D.C. We learned from Dr. King, who preached, we are now faced with the fact that tomorrow is today. We are confronted with the fierce urgency of now. There is such a thing as being too late. For Stefan Clark, we are already too late. For Eric Garner, for Tamir Rice, for Sandra Bland, for too many other people of color, we are already too late for those who've been killed by law enforcement. But it is not too late for us to stop the cycle of injustice, to dismantle the structures of inequality and oppression that undercut our nation's commitment to justice and equality for all people. For all those young people of color who are caught in the school to prison pipeline, we cannot be too late. For all those who are facing voter suppression, we cannot be too late. After hearing King's warning today of all days, do you know what today is? It isn't only the commemoration of Dr. King, it is the holiday of Passover. Everybody say Pesach. Today is Pesach. Dr. King loved the story of Passover. He loved to preach and teach out of the Passover narrative. It was a constant source of inspiration because our liberation from Egypt was set in motion when God heard our ancestors cry out from their bondage. God appeared to Moses. God was in the burning bush, and Moses said, Hineni, here I am. I am showing up. Everyone say, Hineni. Here I am. I am showing up. Just as Moses said, Hineni, 5,000 years ago, we must all say today, what? Hineni, here I am. As leaders of religious communities bearing witness to injustice, God calls to each one of us demanding a response. But within each of our communities, we know that we have not always been united in our call for liberation of all people. We need to be honest about how systemic racism not only pervades our society, but how some of us at times have been reluctant to examine our own white privilege. And we must be honest about whether we have done all that we can do to tear down the systems of oppression. As Dr. King said in his final speech just 50 years ago yesterday, he said, Whenever Pharaoh wanted to prolong the period of slavery in Egypt, he had a favorite, favorite formula for doing it. What was that? He kept the slaves fighting among themselves. When the slaves got together, that was the beginning of getting out of slavery. Now, he said, let us maintain our unity. We are here today, united, together, precisely because we will not allow the opponents of social justice to divide us. We will not be divided by the perpetrators of white supremacy. We will not be divided by the perpetrators of homophobia and Islamophobia and anti-Semitism. In 1964, Dr. King 
called on his friends in our National Rabbinic Association to come down to St. Augustine, Florida to join a campaign against segregation. 17 reformed Jewish rabbis immediately left the convention and traveled from New Jersey to the South. When they arrived in St. Augustine, they joined black activists at a segregated restaurant, and together they did what? They jumped into a swimming pool that was at a segregated hotel. The motel manager dumped acid into that pool, and the police used a cattle prod on a young woman when they were in jail, a local rabbi came to visit his 17 colleagues. But he didn't come to offer support. He came to tell them that they shouldn't have come to St. Augustine. Why? Because they were causing trouble. Well, I've learned from my rabbi, Congressman John Lewis, who likes to say, we need to make good trouble. We need to cause good trouble because our collective liberation has not yet been achieved. There is a new pharaoh. The pharaoh is the new Jim Crow. The pharaoh is mass incarceration. The pharaoh is the all too frequent killing of unarmed black men like Stefan Clark, shot eight times in his grandmother's backyard by law enforcement. We will not rest until all of us are free. We must join together and say in the plural, not he nay nee, but he nay nu. Everybody say he nay nu. We are all here together, and we all have much to do. Together, we will honor Dr. King's legacy and be the movement that finally dismantles white supremacy and overcomes systemic racism that plagues our country. Hineinu, here we are striving to overcome mass incarceration. Hineinu, here we are demanding that citizens of all age have access to the ballot. Hineinu, mobilizing so that all our children can attend school without fear of gun violence. Hineinu protecting immigrants who fear deportation, he nay knew. Defending equal rights for LGBTQ Americans, he nay knew. United together, we will confront anti-Semitism, racism, and all forms of bigotry because injustice against any of us is injustice against all of us. We are here because Dr. King's prophetic vision remains unrealized. All of us together are entrusted with doing the work ennobled by the knowledge that the light entrusted to us is the light of God, God's justice, God's freedom, renewed in our abiding commitment that no matter what the challenge ahead, our work will not be completed until the fetters of wickedness are broken, the oppressed go free, and justice will roll down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream, amen. Let us refuse to be too late. He nay knew we are here.